Soldiers assigned to the 42nd Combat Aviation Brigade and their family members met one last time in Latham before a year-long deployment. Lynn Falsetti was at the ceremony and has more about this latest mission. 180 Latham-based soldiers gathered at Shaker High School Saturday morning, getting ready to deploy to Kuwait later this fall to provide aviation support to military forces based in that country. But it's a nation's proximity to Syria that has service members and their families concerned. Have you been watching the situation with Syria at all? I try not to. I try not to, uh, to stress myself out. It was a mix of emotions Saturday as hundreds of men and women get ready to get deployed. Some excited, some nervous, some a combination of the two. I'm going to miss my family, of course, but as a junior pilot, I'm very excited. I'm deploying with a lot of very experienced pilots, so I'm eager to learn everything I can while I'm over there. We're going to be partnership with uh, some other countries doing training exercises. And again, as an aviation unit, we're going to fly uh, soldiers around and, and train, and that's our capacity is what we're going to do. Meanwhile, the families left behind are ready to step up in the absence of their loved ones. I'll be taking over all the duties in the house. I'll be helping with snow removal and yard care and everything else that needs to be done. I'll be stepping into my son's shoes. Anxiously waiting for these brave men and women to come home next year and come home safely. Inherently, as an aviation unit, what we do on a daily basis is very dangerous. Split second decision sometimes of course, you know, of course lives. Of the, the environment, the weather, that all comes into effect of uh, you know how we train and how we take care of each other. The soldiers will be on federal active duty for 12 months and spend about nine months in Kuwait. Now, before heading overseas, troops will begin a training process at Fort Hood, Texas. We're told many of these soldiers preparing for deployment assisted in aviation emergency response during Superstorm Sandy, Tropical Storm Irene and Lee, as well as flooding in the Mohawk Valley. In the studio, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News.